I will take my stand at my watch post. Habakkuk. Not far from my childhood home in northern Michigan was the remains of an old fire tower. Nothing is left but the concrete foundation of the legs. In its day, this tower was manned in the seasons with high risk for forest fires. Those who were in them served an important role in helping prevent the spread of deadly blazes in the tender dry climates of the vast Michigan woods. I sometimes wonder what it must have been like to sit and watch for hours and days on end. I suppose it takes a special type of person to remain vigilant during the long stretches of monotonous periods. The book of Habakkuk has been called a soliloquy between God and Habakkuk, in which we are the audience observing their conversation. Habakkuk was a prophet in the years just prior to the fall of Jerusalem at the hands of the Chaldeans, sometimes referred to as the Babylonians. He posed some hard, timeless questions to God, questions that people still ask today. Questions like, why does evil prevail? Why do good people suffer at the hands of the unrighteous? Why don't you answer me when I call for help? Why do you look on idly when so much wrong is going on? Sound familiar? Do you have the same questions for God? Well, you're not alone. Neither was Habakkuk in the Bible. Consider the sweet psalmist of Israel, David, in Psalm 37. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Psalm 37, verse 7. And again, how long must I take counsel in my soul, and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Psalms chapter 13, verse 2. And yet again in the Psalms, O Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked exult? Psalms 94, verse 3. Job weighs in on this timeless theme as well. Why do the wicked live, reach old age, and grow mighty in power? Job chapter 21 and 7. In Revelation 6.10, John sees in a vision the saints beneath the altar in the temple, crying out to God, O sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long before you will judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Revelation 6.10 Sounds a lot like Habakkuk and David and Job, doesn't it? The Lord's answer in each case may be worded slightly different, but it is essentially the same. Wait and watch. Wait and watch is exactly what Habakkuk does. I will take my stand at my watch post and station myself on the tower and look out to see what he will say to me and what I will answer concerning my complaint. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1. Wait. That anathema of our present age. We simply don't have the time to wait. The world rushes on about us at a whirlwind pace, and we are swept along with it. But in every age, God's people have been told to wait and see the salvation of the Lord. Exodus 14, 13, 2 Chronicles 20, 17, Lamentations 3, 26, Revelation 6, 11. So, in our haste for answers, do we have the time to sit and wait? Can we afford not to? And those are our thoughts for today.